So I just finished building my uh, new 2UP 3D printer here. I ran into this issue where if I try to um, get one of the motors to go, it will not move and just make a very loud grinding noise. Um, so I'm going to show you how to fix that. Just to show off the problem here, if I try and move the uh, Y axis a bit here, we just get a loud buzzing noise, and as you can see, the plate does not move at all. So it turns out the problem here is that your, uh, well, most likely the problem is that your stepper motors aren't wired to the control board properly. Um, this is the control board I have here. As you can see, it's just Arduino Mega with this, um, it's called the uh, ramps, something or other. But if your control board looks like this, um, it doesn't really matter. Just look up the wiring schematic for your control board and just follow the steps that I list here. So the first thing you do is just kill all power to your um, 3D printer. Unplug everything. Um, take the connector out of the control board and then look at the connector here. So it doesn't really matter the color of wires here, that doesn't really mean anything. Um, but the way stepper motors are wired up is there's two pairs of wires here. Um, so to figure out which ones are paired, you're going to want to take an LED, you can just take a random LED, and then which which axis is this? That's the extruder. Okay, I'll do a different one here. So it's easier easier to show. I'll do the x axis. All right, here's the x axis cable. So take an LED, plug it into two of the pins, and then just move the motor. As you can see, we get nothing. So if I plug it in to these pins here, the green, uh, the blue, and the red pins. In this case. I move it, you can see the LED lights up. So that means that those two are paired. Then if I plug it into green and black, it lights up. So that means those two are paired. So now you're going to want to look up the wiring diagram uh, for your control board. In my case, it has the two pairs of wires right beside each other. So what I need to do is just switch these green and red wires around, and that should... Um, make it so that it's wired properly. So I'll just do that real quick. To do that, if you have one of these uh, like PC uh, power pin connectors, you can just take an X-Acto knife and see these little plastic tabs, get underneath it, lift it up, and you should just be able to pull the wire right out. It's a little fiddly. There we go. And then just do that, and then you should just be able to plug the wires right back in. There we go. Now the paired wires for my stepper motor, which in this case are blue and red and green and black, are in the right configuration for my controller, which is two pairs right beside each other. So if I just plug this one back in, turn on the power, and then try and move the uh, x-axis now, it should work. There we go. As you can see, the x-axis is now moving. So if you have that problem, uh, just try and figure out which pairs of wires, which wires are paired in your stepper motor, and then configure them to the proper wiring for your controller, and that should fix it.